This is just a hard passage, a hard sentence here with some hard words and the choices. But uh, the logic, the relationships between these things are, are very difficult to figure out. So let's take a look. In 1891, design artist William Morris co-founded the Kelmscott Press, which printed editions of books using pre-industrial methods. Okay, so, so far it doesn't seem important, but it will be when we get there. Historians argue that Morris's repudiation of industrialization is blank the Kelmscott edition's use of handmade materials and intricate ornamentation ornamentation re reminiscent of medieval manuscripts. These meticulously handcrafted elements exemplify the artistry involved. So, here's what they're saying. Morris is rejecting, rejecting industrialization by using handmade materials, handcrafted elements, right? There's repetition, main idea is a repeated idea, so we definitely get that. But if we don't have a repu repu repudiation, hard to say, we are gonna be in some trouble here. Um, but this sentence does kind of just give us the answer, right? We know that the colon is used when these vocab questions kind of repeat themselves, right? The, the part after the colon is usually just like another version of the part before. So these handcrafted elements exemplify the artistry involved. So his repudiation of industrialization, his handcraftedness is exemplified, exemplified by the Kelmscott edition's use of handmade materials. It, it's, re, it's repeating it. It's hard, you gotta really want it, but it's there, it's there. And hopefully then that starts to get maybe rid of some answer choices, if not give you the right one. So insensible too, right? Insensible, if something is sensible, it's it's understandable, right? So if it's insensible, it's, you know, not understandable. So that just has nothing to do with something being exemplified, right? Exemplify means example, make an example of something. So there's it, it, maybe the opposite here. I don't, I don't even know. It just doesn't even make sense. Manifest in means like evident in uh, or like apparent in it it basically means what we want it to mean it's the answer um so we're gonna look at the other choices we're gonna look at some other words but yeah it basically means that like his repute his rejection of industrialization is like obvious through the by looking at these kelmscott editions it's kind of it's it's just existing within it. It's, it's obvious by looking at them. Um, hard word, not a word I would use very often in my own life, but it, I do know what it means. Um, maybe you, you think of like to manifest something like, oh, I'm going to manifest like a good grade on the SAT, right? Like that kind of means to make it come about. So there's a little bit of a relationship here to make it evident, to make it apparent, to make it real. That's kind of maybe similar enough that it's memorable. I don't know. Uh, scrutinize means to kind of, um, very thoroughly examine. So it just doesn't, again, it doesn't make sense. They're not, his repudiation of industrialization is scrutinized by these additions. It's a book. How can it scrutinize anything? It doesn't make any sense. Um, and then complicated is probably what you're going to pick if you're just not understanding at all how these hard questions work, right? You can't just pick the easy word when you don't know anything else. Does it make sense to say complicated by here? Like, if it doesn't make sense, get rid of it. Nothing, it, it's, if anything, it's again, it's the opposite. It's not complicated by this. It's, it's very clear that he, this guy doesn't like industrialization because of these additions, right? It's not complicated by these additions. It, the additions show the thing. It's, it, they're, they're linked. So this is almost making it into an opposite. So it doesn't make sense. So it's a difficult, um, difficult passage. We do have hard words in there. You, you should know the word repudiation or repudiate. Repudiate, repudiate means to reject. That's definitely something that could come up on the SAT. Um, we have other words like, uh, let's see, uh, intricate means complicated, so maybe that's why some people would pick that. Ornamentation means design and, and complex design, um, so maybe something showy. Uh, reminiscent means kind of like looking back to something. You reminisce about maybe uh, a, a summer camp that you loved going to as a kid, something like that. Um, and a manuscript is like a book. Meticulous means something is done with extreme care. So uh, there's a lot of tough words here. So when we do have vocab questions, sometimes it's about the vocab choices, but other times there's a lot more in the passage. So, you know, basically anytime you're reviewing a test and you see a word you don't know, 
look it up. Go online, look at the dictionary, look it up, try to absorb it as best you can. Maybe you, at the very least, you'll absorb the vibe, the connotation of that word, and that might help you in the future. But yeah, they're hard. You got to learn a lot of words.